This is my background music, so I don't get copyrighted. Oh yeah, subscribe. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello. I've asked you guys on my Instagram to let me know some of your assumptions about me, so I'm just gonna be reading them, answering them. If I agree, I agree. If I don't, I'ma let you know how I feel about it. Okay. But before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know about this hair because I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, a lot of where'd you get that from? So this hair is from Unice. They were kind enough to send it to me or whatever. It's cute. My cousin made the unit. It is a lace closure. The hair is 22 inches. Um, I think she put about three bundles, three and a half ish. Um, the closure is 20 inches and it's um i wanted it right now it takes heat very well um it's no shedding at all like it literally does not shed i shouldn't say that it sheds a little bit like two or three strands if you brush it out but nothing severe like, if you want to check them out or if you want to purchase the hair i'll leave the link at the top of the description just open that up and check them out so let's just get straight into the video <laughs> my best friend said damn daniel she bald <laughs> You're annoying. Oh my god, oh, my friend that I've been knowing since like elementary school. She said, not an assumption, but a fact that you're absolutely perfect. Love you, boo. Oh, love you too, Madison. <laughs> love you, baby. All right, let's just get into the real assumptions or whatever that I'm seeing. Um, one says you're super chill and funny. Um, I am really chill, I'm laid back, and I think I'm funny. I think I'm really freaking funny, okay? Like, DJ be hating, but I think I'm funny, like, you're with me, you're gonna giggle. This assumption has been the one that I always get. It says, stuck up, but I love you. Um, when I was in high school, everyone thought I was stuck up. I don't know, maybe it's just like the resting B face, you know? I always look mad, I don't know why. That's just how I look, like, I'm sorry. If I look mad nine times out of 10, I'm not. That's just my face. <laughs> I'm not stuck up at all. Next assumption says you're super family oriented, which is true. Um, growing up, we lived in a house with all of us. Like our house was super big. It was me, my sisters, my mom, my nieces and nephews, my cousins, my grandma, my aunt. Like we all lived in the same house. Like after high school, we kind of like went our separate way. Well, we kind of moved out of the house. <laughs> um, and you know, it was just really sad because like it's kind of awkward now. Next up, she says you have many regrets. Um, I try not to live with any regret. Everything I do, I've did it for a reason, whether it's being a stupid decision, a smart one, a dumb one. But I never, I don't regret anything because everything in my life, um, I've learned from it. I've grown from it. Whether it was a dumb decision, I've grown from it. <laughs> do I regret something while I'm just talking? Let me think. I may regret one thing in my whole entire life. It's just being so mean to my Nana after my dad died. That, that's the one thing I regret. And everything, every stupid thing else in my life, I don't regret, like. I assume you did sports either now or in high school. Did I do sports in high school? I don't think so. Uh-oh, I lied. What? Cheer, cheering is a sport. It's a sport. It's a sport because I almost quit one time because I was like, uh-uh, I didn't sign up for this. An assumption that says that you're pregnant again. Uh, no, I'm not pregnant, okay? I don't know why you're assuming that. You wish you were shorter. Um, I used to because I thought I was like really, really tall. But as of now, no, I like my height. I'm 5'7". I feel like that's a good, a good height, you know? <laughs> um, that you're too nice to people. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Um, no, I'm the type of person that I know when to be nice and not to be nice. I know when to say no to people. A lot of people can take your kindness for weakness and just take your niceness and run with it and it's like no not not asia me no you're, you're not about to run all over me <laughs> that you got on a roll your whole high school year sis i wish like y'all ninth grade i didn't even go to school okay um you're shy with new people that's honestly very true um i know i may seem like she's so like fun and outgoing i am when you meet me but i am a very shy person like i've been like that my whole life like standing up speaking in front of people oh no like i can't i literally cannot yeah i'm a really 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 shy person <laughs> when meeting new people you do all the talking no like i said before if the person does not talk to me i'm not gonna talk to you like we can have a staring contest but i'm not gonna talk to you probably not don't stare at me too long this person said you're bougie you're mean um 
Am I bougie? No, but like who's not a little bit? Just a little bit, you know, a little bit. I do got standards, but I'm not bougie. Um, am I mean? I could be. You are quiet but crazy with the little looking emojis, girl. Let me tell you, that's why honestly you guys do not hear about me being in any type of drama. Y'all don't see me arguing with nobody on social media because like I'm with the shits. I don't do arguing, even in person, like I'm not gonna argue with you, girl, like that's not about to happen. Um, arguing over social media is probably like the stupidest thing in the world, especially if you know that person, like in real life, if y'all see each other at events, if you know where that person lives, why are you arguing on social media? Like, why? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna do a couple more because it's, it's kind of a lot, so I'm gonna just look through certain ones. This one says you love Baby Layton more than DJ. I love you so much. I love Layton more than anybody on this earth. Like, that's my son. That's me. That's my child. Like, I love his life more than I love my life. Like, that's my baby. So, I love him more than anybody. <laughs> you can eat anything you want and won't gain weight. Um, that's not really true. I do gain weight a little bit. But it don't go to, like, the places that it needs to, you know? Like, I'm trying to be slim thick. And it's not going to those places to make me slim I have a high metabolism and I've been having that since I was little. I've been skinny for my whole life. <laughs> when I was little, it was really, really, really bad. Like, you know how people measure your wrist? They used to measure my ankles. <laughs> they used to measure my ankles. That's pretty sad. This person says you were lying that you were part Chinese. Why do I have to lie about that? Why do you assume that I'm lying? Like, if you guys knew my last name, my last name's not Lay, by the way. Um, but if you guys knew my last name, it's so Asian. It is literally so Asian. That's what gives it away. That's why people be like, like, oh, you're Asian? I'm like, yeah, I'm Chinese. And then they'll be like, oh, like I can kind of see it with your eyes and you kind of look Asian, but the last name just gives it away, okay? This person says you're a sweet person, but we'll fight if need be. Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> this person says you were popular in high school. <gasps> was I? Mm. I don't think I was popular. Everyone just knew who I was. This person assumes that I have a lot of friends, which is not true at all. I got two friends, my best friend, my friend Nia, I love y'all, shout out to you. The rest is family. <laughs> my mom like installed in my head that it's like, you don't need friends cause you have too much family. And that's what I read once since I was little. The last one, you come from money. I don't know what makes you assume that I do, but I don't, <laughs> I don't at all, okay? I don't know what makes you think that. Do I look like I do? Because I feel like I don't. But I've always said like, um, if I was like the richest person in the world, I would still wear my sweats. I would still wear Vans, Adidas. Like, I'm not about to flex for no reason. I'm not about to spend $5,000 on a shirt. I don't care how much money I got, $5,000 for a shirt. I went into Gucci one time and I was looking at this cute little jacket and it was like $7,000. And I said, girl, I could make this if I wanted to. Um, no, I'm no. And I'm not about to just spend money just to show people that I got money. Mm -mm. I feel like that's the stupidest thing in the world. Ew. Um, that would conclude today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you want to check out the hair, it's from you nice. Open the description. All the links are down there. Um, if you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, why? Um, hit that subscribe button on your post notifications so you never miss when I upload. On that note, bye! Bye!